you're gonna wanna stick around for this easy grilled shrimp recipe. I'm making po' boys with sriracha red cabbage slaw and bang bang sauce. Let's get started. So I've just got one pound of medium shrimp here. I think they're 2630 is what I got. And I'm just gonna get those into a silver bowl. We're gonna build a marinade for our bang bang shrimp. We're gonna get started with one lime here. Gonna slice that down in half. Get that down in there. And we're gonna get about a tablespoon of olive oil down in there. I spent a little time in Baltimore when I was a kid and my first job was in a crab house steaming crabs and washing dishes. I think I actually started as a dishwasher and then steamed crab, I don't know. And Old Bay is a staple in the, everyone's cabinet out in that area. It's got a great flavor, and if you haven't given it a shot, you should. But we're just going to get about, uh, I don't know, three tablespoons of that down in our shrimp there. And then I'm going to mince up two cloves of garlic here. Just give those a smash under my knife. I'm going to get that up off my board and down into that shrimp. And there we have it, our bang bang marinade for our shrimp. We just want to go ahead and give that a good mix. And I think I didn't go heavy enough on the old day. I'm gonna get a little bit more down in there. So we're gonna let this hang out for 15 minutes, any longer than that, and we'll be making ceviche. If you guys wanna make ceviche sometime, just let me know in the comments. All right, now we're gonna get our sriracha slaw fired up. And if that sounds familiar, it's because you saw it in the world's best pork butt sandwich. And if you haven't seen it, it's because you aren't subscribed and you should go ahead and hit that subscribe button here, here, or here, here, or here, or here. So seriously, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on what I'm cooking up here at Machete Boys Barbecue. But let's get this sriracha slaw fired up and it all gets started with the sauce and we need a half a cup of mayonnaise and make sure that you're using real mayonnaise I'm just a straight old regular Hellman's guy and we're gonna get about a half a cup of mayonnaise down in there that'll do it and then you want to get yourself about two tablespoons of mustard and I recently just discovered Coleman's mustard has like Coleman's mustard powder and mix it with a little bit of water you can uh, have fresh mustard every time you cook next up we're gonna add a little bit of horseradish to the party here and you just want to get about uh, not a full tablespoon but a little less than a full tablespoon maybe and get that down in there too awesome and that's gonna bring up a little bit of heat and then of course you can't make sriracha slaw without the freaking sriracha man get about an eighth of a cup or three tablespoons or however that math works out down into our sauce if you like it a little bit spicier by all means load up on the sriracha there all right so next up you can't make slaw dressing without some freaking sugar so let's get about a quarter of a cup of plain old white sugar right down in there. All right, just to recap, we got horseradish, we got sriracha, we got mustard, we have mayo. The last thing that we need is to balance everything out is just a little bit of lemon juice, just to bring a little bit more acidity to the party. I'm just gonna use half of this lemon here. Squeeze that right down into the party there. Man, that's looking good. Oh, I lied. There's also one more thing that you need, and that's just a little bit of salt. So just go ahead and grab yourself some kosher salt. Give it a nice little sprinkle down in there. Stir it all together here. Oh man, that smells good. Oh yeah, that's the ticket, baby. Definitely dig it on that sriracha slaw sauce. And let's get some veggies chopped up. This is a purple cabbage slaw, so you just need one head of purple cabbage. You know what's gonna happen here, right? We're just gonna slice this bad boy down. All right, then once you got your slaw cashed out there, then you just wanna make it rain in the bowl, baby. All right, so go ahead and get that cabbage out of the way. Now we need to bring some carrot to the party. These are called juicing carrots. I don't know why they're different from a regular carrot other than they're skinny and they're small, and I didn't have to buy a whole bunch of them for this recipe because I only need about a quarter of a cup or so but to our carrots i'm just going to take a grater and just get rid of some of that skin on the outside there sorry this isn't a grater this is what's known as a vegetable peeler so i frequently get a lot of this stuff wrong but i know how to use them which is the important part right so we're just getting that skin off of there if i was making a roast i'd leave the skin on right because that that would bring some of that earth to the roast but we're not making roast we're making bang bang shrimp po' boys with a red cabbage slaw all right i'm gonna go ahead and get those ends off of there then you want to grab yourself a fancy grater and go ahead and grate down that carrot watch your knuckles i almost got mine we're gonna bring back our slaw and then we're just gonna get our carrot down in there right and then we're coming back in and we're gonna add our sauce just to the slaw mix here and you want to be careful you don't want to overdress this because then it'll be soupy and sloshy and a nasty mess right and this isn't going to have much time to set up in the fridge just get that mixed up in there so that it's dressed up nicely it's got some flavor but you absolutely don't want to kill this right so just enough to do the trick i think i added about uh, almost three quarters of the sauce right and that looks absolutely killer man Ooh, and then he's just a pinch more salt salt bay style boom and then we'll get that in there Get it mixed up. I'm gonna slip this in the fridge, trade it out for our shrimp. I'll be right back. Whoa, whoa. Before we do any of that, we gotta make our bang bang sauce, y'all. I almost forgot about it. All right, our bang bang sauce starts with quarter of a cup of sweet chili sauce. Then we need a half a cup of the mayonnaise. Perfect. And then to our mix, we're gonna add two tablespoons of sriracha sauce. We need a little sweetness. 
So I'm gonna come in with one tablespoon of my little friend here in the bear. Just a splash of rice wine vinegar in. Then we're gonna add up a pinch of salt. And I like to add a pinch of Coleman's mustard powder. Man, that looks good. All right, grab myself a little spoon and mix that all together. Of course, give that a taste. Oh yeah, man, that's good. Mmm, I could drink it. I'll be right back with our shrimp. Man, those look absolutely delicious. The smell is amazing. I'm gonna get these skewered up. We're gonna butter our buns and then we're gonna go outside to the grill. So I'm gonna go ahead and get our shrimp. And I've just got my PK set up with a couple of grill grates here. And these babies will cook really fast. So don't go anywhere once you get them on. We'll go ahead and get our shrimp flipped over here. And those are looking absolutely perfect. We're getting a little char on there, which is what I want. I'm gonna move that over there to the hotter side of the griddle. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and try not to burn the buns. So if your griddle's as hot as mine, these just take a second to get that perfect goldenness on there. And that's a little hot back there. So we'll move that around, check and I'll make sure I'm toasting them and not crusting them. That looks good. And that looks good there too as well. Let's go let those shrimp hang out there for another minute. I'm gonna close the lid and get a little residual heat just to finish them up. All right, our shrimp are done. I'm gonna go ahead and get those off and run those inside and I'll see you in there. Now that the shrimp's done, let's go ahead and build our shrimp po' boy. So I'm gonna grab one of our buttered buns here, get that bad boy open. And we're gonna get a little bit of this sriracha slaw down in there. Let's make sure to leave room for some of those tasty shrimp. I'm just gonna pile some of those shrimp on there. You might wanna take the tails off. If you like things on hot dog buns, check out this Coney dog. The last thing we wanna do is just drizzle a little bit of that bang bang sauce right over the top. Oh man, that's good. You gotta try this at home. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you next time. Mm-hmm, way better than edible. Mm. You should go ahead and hit that subscribe button.